just want to uh, give my heartfelt thanks to uh, Nila, uh, Parini, and Sumi for, for doing just amazing work for seven or eight years. I just can't even contemplate how much work. I feel like I had the easy part, and uh, definitely compared to all that. So, and uh, how many people have already bought a book? <laughs> all right, all right, I see about six or seven hands, okay? We need like 40 hands to go. <laughs> Seriously, there are we about 50 We books. have to wait till it's over before we can go get our books. <laughs> well, I want to make sure you commit before you hear my poetry. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so please do buy a book and support Booksmith, and thanks to Booksmith as well. So this poem is in the book. Uh, clean up on aisle three. Why is it that every person... And every kind of person out there has their counterpart in food. No matter if the skin's bleached or baked, epicanthus blepharoplastied, turning almond eyes to permanently shocked lychee size, let's face it, when your exterior complexion doesn't match your interior direction, you're on the menu for racial epicurification. <laughs> the Oreo was the original food slur, a nicer way to symbolize a person whose insides and insights didn't match their standout outsides. Banana wasn't far behind for those who weren't bananas about their yellow hue. And coconuts, I hate to say, might look like me, but their brains are pure white matter. But before I got too down on the whiter persuasion, I met first one hard-boiled egg and then a dozen, and wondered a time or two if I wasn't a tea egg, brown on the outside, golden on the inside, after all, or a sweet potato, brown on the outside, Buddhist on the inside, <laughs> or, or just a plain Reese's peanut butter cup. Always in search of a Hershey, Hershey's hug, I'll settle for a kiss. A mint chocolate drop, a sweet brown girl who joined the greens. A juicy peach, a soft and fuzzy Buddhist with a hard center that could break your teeth. I would say a mango, but that mango seed kind of scares me. Or even an avocado, an ecologist that could break your teeth. A vegetarian hot pocket or three cheese bagel bite, don't even ask. Yes, I'll admit it, I've spent hours in Safeway aisles just trying to figure out what or who I am. <laughs> Call it existential hunger. <laughs> Only to realize that no matter what you look like, it's what's inside that counts. That's why, which is why I'm a scrambled egg burrito in a tomato tortilla with black beans, basmati rice, guacamole, and sriracha, garnished with sweet papaya chutney with a side of bitter melon. <laughs> I'm good with tongues, I don't break teeth, your stomach might not agree with me, and your nose won't know me, but I'm nutritious, guaranteed, and I'm on your plate. Your eyes have never seen a dish like me before, and I'm not just for breakfast anymore. <laughs>